The Victorian Chamber was formed in 1851 to advance uh, trade, commerce, investment, uh, and that's what we continue to do today. We try to increase the ability of Victorian companies to grow, employ more people, move into things like export markets, uh, to be innovative, to embrace new industries and to be part of not just the business community in Victoria, but the broader Victorian community. Uh, we're proud of that and we'll continue to strive to be better and better at that every day. At the Victorian Chamber, our culture is paramount. We build our culture around and with our staff. Our staff have been involved in the design of the program, the actions that we're taking, and they're regularly involved in feedback as to what's working and how we can make it work better. Through that, uh, our teams uh, are more cohesive, uh, they interact a lot more, uh, the communication across the organisation is better, and therefore the ideas and the generation and sharing of those ideas is something that everyone strives to be part of. What we do is put uh, a strong emphasis on the culture uh, of the organisation, the importance of our people and the importance of the work that they do. Three years ago, we embarked on a review of the values in the organisation with input from our staff, our board and some of our stakeholders. We landed on four important values. Uh, one team, so we work as one uh, and we make sure we share ideas, we share workloads uh, and we celebrate success across the organisation. Putting our members first or our customers first if you like. Uh, being a membership organisation that in a sense speaks for itself. Uh, everything we do is focused on the member. Our third uh, value is inspire and earn trust. Trust is really important that you can rely on your fellow workers and be able to share ideas, sometimes very good ideas, sometimes the occasional not so good, but be trusting enough to know it will be taken in the context in which it should uh, and then be acted on. Uh, our staff chose change the status quo because the organisation was a bit old fashioned and clunky. There was a bit of an attitude of We've always done it that way around here. And we wanted to move away from that. They've embraced that and we haven't looked back since. We've got a great team here. They are people with purpose, shaping the future of business.